Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a, another video. It is so lovely to have you back here, and I hope you are enjoying the content I am making for this channel. So if you do want to learn DaVinci Resolve filmmaking and other things of that sort, please consider subscribing. So this video is a super quick look at how to make your tripod shots look more alive using a few of editing tricks inside of DaVinci Resolve 16.1. So let's get right to it. Let's go. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the hacks to make your tripod shot look better. So first little thing here is go to the inspect and use the dynamic zoom. Just uh, click the box and uh, start using it. And, uh, and this is uh, quite helpful, actually. We can go to the ease in, which will, of course, ease in a bit, or ease out. And then, of course, we have a ease in, ease out, which will just try to make the motion more fluently. Like so. So this is how that would work. Um, if we just use the default setting, of course, just by clicking, but let's just turn this to linear and um, let's go over here in this box and turn the dynamic zoom on here. And then we saw we had these two boxes or marks, a green and a red mark or square. And the way this works is actually the the red square is where you are, are beginning from and the green square is where you are ending so uh, if we do like this we are then of course and then we we'll change that to the opposite so now we'll go from the red to the green Like so. Okay, so that's how that basically works. Pretty nice feature. Um, so the so for instance, maybe you have a pretty long shot, which this is a pretty long shot, and maybe you want to. I'm just going to reset all the dynamic zoom because that is messing me up a bit. So maybe you have a super long shot and you want to make a slow zoom. You would do that with the keyframes. So putting a starting keyframe, go to the end of the clip, like so. I'll just go a couple of frames back. And then we are simply just going to add in another zoom point. So now we're going to have this super slow zoom in our footage. So there you have a, a very slow zoom on the clip here and very easy to do. So maybe you want to do something else like the opposite. So we're just going to reset our framing here. Just going to zoom in a bit because of the crop here. I'm going to zoom in a bit here. I'm going to put in a new keyframe and then I'm just going to reverse the zoom so it'll zoom the other way out instead of in. So that's an easy way of making that effect as well. Yeah, and it does really make the shot more interesting because the shot isn't that interesting on sticks. So but there you have it. Let's go to the next hack here. Let's use uh, this clip here. So uh, as a good thing would always be to shoot in higher resolution than you are delivering. So this is a 4K clip and I'm delivering in 1080. So the basic idea is um, always to cut on a movement. I do that a lot. So, so now we've cut here on a movement and then I'm going to zoom in my clip here a bit and just reframe it using the transform like that. Oh, that is not the world's best key or green screen, but okay. If you didn't see that tutorial, that would be somewhere as well. So there we have this. And then of course, I just want to make a 
Found the cut here. Again, on the DaVinci, I'll just use B to go to the Razor tool and then make a cut. And then I'm just going to reset the zoom and the position. So we'll go back to the first shot. So now we have this little thing here. Kind of nice. Okay, and the next tip, of course, would be to add movement. So I'll go into the effects library here and I am just going to go into my open effects and I'm just going to go up here and type in camera and then I'm just going to take the camera shape which I have right here and I'm going to drag that on my clip. So now we're going to take our steady shot here and um, make it look like handheld and of course if we go into the inspector into open effects we can uh, change the things and the the motion scale we are going to bump that down and also the speed scale we are going to bump that down a bit you see if we bump it all the way up here you can see that it's way too shaky or bumpy for us so now we just have a little uh, a little it's not that much and i might give it a little bit in the speed scale here so now we have this little thing here where there is a little bit movement of course we have all the shake levels here so we can push in the pan a little so there's just a little and also the tilt i want to give just a little bit more and the rotation on um, might give it just a little bit so something like this and and that gives a little life at least it uh, removes the illusion of it being on a tripod and then of course we have different things we could change in here but for now i'm just going to use those levels so here we have the normal clip and then we're just going to see it with the effect on and it's just a little handheld a little alive so that, i think that is pretty darn nice so let's uh, go to the next little thing here. So first off, let's just uh, kill the effect by using the trash can here. And then again, as I was talking about earlier, that uh, always shoot in higher resolution than you're going to deliver. So in this case, I, I do that all the time. So either we, uh, one way of doing this thing is, of course, to put in the black bars. So now you can do like a pan. Oops, wrong one. And, uh, now you can do a, just by changing the position and adding in a keyframe. Again, then you have done a kind of a pan. And because we're using the top, bottom and top of the image because of the white screen bars. We are not really throwing anything away, but uh, let's just reset the output blanking here and then just zoom it in a bit because we are shooting in higher resolution. Of course, we can also just zoom in a bit and do the exact thing thing. Putting in a keyframe at the position and then going pit into the clip and doing our adjustment where that was way too much like so and then we have that as well okay and then we have this little clip here and um, again it's a also a super simple way of course because we are shooting in the higher resolution we'll just zoom in a bit And then we can kind of make this slider movement kind of thing. So adding in again a keyframe going into the frame where we want it to move to. And then again in the position, just move that like so. So now we have this little shot here. And that's a pretty easy trick as well. Anyway, this was just a few tips on how to make your tripod shots look better. 
I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.